old bank turned into a pub, a beautiful post office and delicious food and some hidden game hall? Well, we're about to show you all. Hello and welcome to Prague. We are on the main square in the city center where everybody goes to. Uh, but many people forget that they can turn into the side streets and discover some really cool places. That's why we're here and we're gonna go through this street that is called Jindrzyska, put it in your Google Maps to find it, and we're gonna show you different venues and places that are either on the street or hidden in a corner or in a passage. Let's go. One of the hidden gems, actually two of the hidden gems we wanna show you, are hidden in this passage. At the end of the passage, in the underground, is this awesome arcade place that's called Joystick Bar, where you can get a beer and do some driving. It's the only place where you can do it legally. So let's go. I failed, didn't finish the third lap. Some of the arcade games here are actually older than me, like I saw a Pac-Man over there. Keep in mind this place is opened uh, from 4 p.m. in the afternoon, so come later and bring your friends and you can do like a tournament on the favorite arcade machine you can find. And believe it or not, this is not the only hidden place in the passage here. And another one is just across the hallway. This little wine place is called For a Wine Glass. And the way it works is you get a wine glass that is bottomless. It will cost you 383 crowns, which is this in euros, and you can sample all the wines they have here on tap and drink and drink and drink. What's that in the mouth? Chipotle copy bojo. Teresa, you said I did it incorrectly, so what's the correct way of pouring the wine? Way to just place, place the, the glass. Place the glass and Drop it. Drop it, pour it from the top. Okay, next time, sorry. <laughs> Just one glass. One of the hidden places here on the street is the main post office. It's open 24 7. It's this normally looking building until you walk inside. We're gonna take a tiny little detour from this street to this one because right there is the place I mentioned in the beginning. An old bank turned into a fancy pub restaurant. This place is called the Cantina. Cheers, Hansa. And the way it works here is that you get a ticket when you enter and they will give you lines for every beer you're drinking and also they will mark the food that you will order here from the bar or from the front where's the main kitchen. Uh, they have variety of food that is usually by weight so you can choose as little as you want or as much as you want if you're hungry. I absolutely love this gigantic table in the middle. This space here is just... Uh, Amazing. And the beer is also very good here. Cheers. We're getting non-alcoholic because once again, it's very early. We got different samples of everything from the food bar. Looks very delicious, mostly meat, but you can also get a portion uh, of anything you desire, either from here or as I said, from the front. Sample, Honza? I usually in the video say that I'm no food blogger to tell you what is good and what is bad. Well, here I can tell you that it is very, very good. Pulled pork, man. We are back on the street and there's another place, food place, one of my favorite, that is called Speile. 
Fela is not your typical restaurant. The way it works is you pick the food from the bar and you pay depending on the stick. So you pay for each stick and you can get different variety of chlebičky, different salami, different salad sweets, and even some warm kitchen. So let's pick something. Just like in the previous place, I like this one, Spela, because you can sample a variety of uh, different kinds of food. And it's reasonably priced. It's 33 crowns per stick, which is around 1 euro 30, something like that. Um, and I like how Honza got the dessert that he was craving for in the beginning. Honza, how is it? This thing, if you, if you come to this place, even just for this thing, you'll be happy. It's good. But you have Trdelnik on your hoodie. Oh, Trdelnik is amazing. It's my, my favorite. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this was Spela, but there are many other places right here on the street where you can go grab some food. This street could almost be referred to as the Asian Quarter because there are many Asian uh, food places. Vokin, we've already mentioned, very good noodles. Right next to it is Modrizu, Bluetooth, uh, Thai food. Watch out, they do not take carts. Right behind Honza is a Vietnamese place called Viet Food. And also on the corner there is Ban Me Ba, also Vietnamese food. All four places, delicious. Even the tram driver knows that. But since most likely you are a tourist coming to Prague watching or a foreigner living in Prague, my Czech recommendation for Czech food would be Řeznictví and Uzenáctví to get some true Czech food experience. Wait one second, now you will see. There it is. The entire time as you walk on the street, you will see this tower named the same way as the street is. And in all honesty, we have never been up there. So we will discover it together with you now. We're on the fourth floor of the tower and they claim this to be the largest map of Prague. It is pretty cool and there are the towers that you may know from Prague are sticking from the points where they are and you can see most of them are on the Royal Way of Prague. This is pretty cool actually. We are on the eighth floor of the tower and there is this fancy restaurant that is surrounded or surrounding a bell that is the 10th oldest bell in Prague. It's Maria from 1518. And if you are curious, what is the oldest bell in Prague? It's also a bell called Maria and it's from 1455 uh, at the Svati Havel church in the old town of Prague. This bell is very nice and the fact that you can dine and eat next to it, kind of cool. We have reached the top of the tallest standalone bell tower there is in Prague because this was a bell tower for the church that is next door. And uh, this is quite something for us because we've never been here. So we're enjoying the view and we are here, by the way, by ourselves. Uh, we haven't met a single living soul while walking through the entire tower. At the very top of the tower, you can listen to this carolin that is here uh, simply by inserting 10 crowns or 50 euro cents into that box, or you can simply wait for the full hour, just like we did, to hear it. And tip how to save 50 euro cents. Thanks, Yannick. We are back to the street level. Here's the church that I was talking about, and right behind it is another place we want to show you. Right here in the park is this renovated building that is a film hub Edison. It used to be an electric station Edison, and now it's a coffee place and a movie theater. Until the 90s, this was still a power electric station, then reconstructed into what you see right now. 
As many theaters in Prague, smaller theaters, there's always um, a movie theater and attached to it is a coffee place. So after you watch a good movie, you can go discuss it over a cup of coffee with your friends if it was good or bad. The coffee's good. The last film I saw here was also good. It was Encanta. I went with my niece. Make sure to check out the program of this place because as I was just told, they also have Sunday screenings of English friendly films and not only films, but various events. So you can find that online. I hope you liked our little uh, guided walk through the street. Many things to do here. And if you want to see more things to do in Prague and things to be to watch out for, uh, check out our channel that is called Honest Guide. We try to guide you in the city that we love the most, which is Prague. I am Yannick, that's Honza, we're the Honest Guides, and I'll see you next week. If you uh, subscribe to our channel, it will put a smile on our face. I already have a smile on my face. That doesn't mean you shouldn't subscribe. <laughs> and in the end, we're gonna teach you, as usual, a Czech word, this time, how to say skewer in Czech. Well, in Czech, it's spele. Spele, it's this wooden stick that you put food on. And I'm not sure if I get the pronunciation right in English. Skewer? Skewer? Help me out, guys. The wooden stick. Spela.